welcome one welcome all striker Tai Yeri <laughs> if I was the mister I would explain it like that um, alright let's get so let's talk about these very these two legends Erie has uh, was the top of his group coming out of group A and Stryker was second but they're both meeting in the third place matches after each losing to the Mista and Greeky uh, Erie losing to the Mista last uh, yesterday uh, if you haven't watched that, those were some fantastic games casted by Greeky and casted by um, by Penguin. And we saw the Castellum being used and also like the other uh, barracks units being used to really great effect. We, we saw previously the Mista... Oh, nice. Strikers already got super fast timing out here. But uh, we saw previously the Mista had sort of... Um, I guess uh, popularized a one TC build like with with no villager uh, with no barracks units at all, and we thought that was going to be the meta for a while. But Erie sort of proved yesterday that you can take on even the best of the best with the Spearman Rush, and of course it'd be Erie to do it. And so now that he's proven it, Striker is wary, and so he's making his own. Wonder where he's sending these guys. He's sending them across the map. Okay. Striker's gonna take the initiative in this game. I like it. He's going down to this hunt. Erie's gonna smell. He's gonna sense this out. And he might be able to catch them off if they don't pay attention. Or they're going right past each other and Erie doesn't see it. No, he sees it now. These bar bar don't do too much damage, so. My voice inflection might have been for naught. He probably will... No, he probably won't get one. That's that's the issue with the low damage of the spar bar, especially with there being two of them here. And yeah, he's got to be careful not to lose too many. Strikers drop in some villagers. Not the best. So he's going to lose one spar bar for half a villager's health. Not uh, the best trade, in my opinion. With this bar bar, you know you're going to be snared to death. Just uh, turn around and start poking the enemy. Just poke him for a little bit. All right, striker, quickly transitioning onto stone. Same thing with Yeti. <laughs> sorry, Mister. I'm sorry. Yeah, imitation is the best form of flattery. So, take take that as you will. Oh, really smart from Erie, eh? Uh, he knows that this villager is hurt. And instead of throwing him back onto the hunt where Stryker is likely to re-aggress, he has instead chosen the berry bushes. Oh, Stryker going to lose another Sparrow Bar. Now, this is where it gets scary, right? You have seven Spearmen. You're not making any more Sparrow Bar. And actually, in fact, you have... Oh, no, I take that back. He's got seven... Sparrow Barn here in the middle of the map. We're good. We're Gucci. We're Gucci. He's, he's got nothing to worry about. Morning, Borg. Hope you're doing well, sir. Wow, Striker. Just... Oh, he needs to pay attention here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Maybe if he can micro. He can micro and possibly take out these much... Or these more expensive units from Erie. But in saying that, he's doing a great job. He's got more resources than Eerie. He's already in the second age. So he's going to be dropping down his second town center. We've been seeing these uh, second town centers more and more. Well, where is he going? Over here? Okay, on the hunt. On the hunt, that's all right. Holy, the golds in this game are very... Strange. I think Striker has not scouted like all of these areas. But um, yeah, very strange gold. Oh my goodness, and here comes Erie. No, on the second TC. No. 
Oh my goodness, what a huge pickup. Where is where is Striker's army? It's it's in it's in Yuri's base pushing him. He's gonna have to sacrifice this TC. Oh my god, what a huge pickup. And Yuri in the meantime is putting the second TC down over here. And Striker's getting good damage done, but he has not found the second TC, and that's where the money is. Oh my god, Striker. He needs to do something here. And there's only five Spara Bar, and it's not gonna be good enough. He sees the TC, but these Legionaries are here. It's going to be more than enough to stop this. Oh my god. Huge pickup by Eerie. Striker, super smart, like, attempt. Where you're saying, like, okay, if I'm attacking your base, you're most likely not going to be attacking my base. But this is, this is Eerie we're talking about. Damn. Oh, he's going to really delay the TC. He's killed, like, two Engineers. He almost has another one over here. But uh, Yuri, look at this. He's in the base. Like he's absolutely ruining Striker's whole economy. Striker throwing it down on his back goal. The second TC. Oh man, Striker even made a, a spearman. Yeah, he's got to come here. Maybe even take out this this archer range if he if he can. These villagers desperate. He's gonna lose another one. He's got 20 villagers to the 20 of Yuri. So I must have missed a really nice raid from Striker because right now it doesn't look like. He's given up. Any other game, Striker is is very quick on the trigger to 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 um, to know when he's lost the game. But in this game, I th I think I might have missed a ton of villagers being killed on this hunt. Just due to the nature of how quickly or how much was going on in that first few, three minutes of the game. So we're off to a a great start already. Eerie. See here, 22 villagers to the 24. So we're going to keep an eye on that, see how that villager gap progresses throughout this game. He's going to claim this hunt that he tried to claim with his TC. Uh, instead on... On something else. Uh, with with a, a, a storehouse without A10. A10 would be huge here. Yuri has got to be careful. These uh, Just these couple of bowmen will be annoying enough. To hopefully uh, uh, stop Eerie from pushing in. These units are too expensive to lose for free. Mm. Welcome. Welcome. Uh. Yeah, I know. It, it does feel great to see fantastic high level players like Striker and like Eerie play again. Um, oh, and look at that. Did he get hunting dogs? He has hunting dogs. Very excellent choice. I will say, Striker needs to click up this pickaxe upgrade ASAP. There are two golds that he has right here. One gold here and one gold back here, right? But other than this third gold, which is really not safe at all. <coughs> excuse me. He's going to be having a tough time finding golds around the map. Golds are very sparse in this map uh, for this spawn. So he needs to be careful and and make sure to get that pickaxe upgrade for that 15% conservation. It's going to be absolutely critical. All right, what is Striker doing in this map? 111, dropping down more houses. He's about to get housed. Actually, the housing is stopping him from making villagers. 34 to the 37. He was doing a better job of not being housed. I like this forward formation with the Castellums. He's even got a Praetorium. And he's making Decorions. Nice, nice. Um, see here, a Forum going down. Um, huh. Okay, Forum and an Armory. Striker moving out with some some bowmen and some spearmen. Ooh, he might get caught up off guard if he he's gonna take a couple villagers with him, but this might be his his demise actually. Like he's gonna take two, maybe three villagers, right? Oh, well, three villagers then. One, two. And and striker look oh striker now sees the army coming, all right so he's gonna 
He's going to not try to go here. Eerie he was going to go where he thought he was going to go, but he sees the vision here, so he's not going to be surprised uh, by Striker here. Okay, villager count 40 to the 42. Striker really nice, throwing his Asabara for some vision. One more villager going down. Okay, he's trying to make up his villager deficit the hard way. Some strong raiding with Bowman. Eerie, he's, he's causing lost gathering time, if nothing else. Um... Oh my god, these Decorions monsters. Alright, so he's going to lose a couple of uh, bowmen, but not the worst thing in the world. Uh, 45 villagers to the 44, so he's taking the villager lead. He's floating a lot of resources, so he can, hopefully, after a couple seconds, go on to age 3. And actually, I'm surprised, that went quite well. That went quite, quite well, all things considered. Population's dead even. Striker adding in more production facilities. A barracks. Probably for uh, that double spearman production that he's going to need. But, ooh, Eerie's army is looking mighty scary. 27 legionaries and 6 decorions knocking on the front door of Striker's base. Who can go to age 3 any, si any time now. He's going to see this army in the middle of his base. I don't know where, what he's... Yeah, he's running away with his villagers. Okay. Oh, no. A lot of these villagers are going to die. But in return... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to say. Striker with these with these units in a great position. We'll be able to get a ton of pot shots off. Um, Alright. Yeah, he was, he was touring around the base. Alright. Striker. Pushes back his opponent. Very scared. Who isn't able to kite like he's able to kite. Oh, these Decorions might be uh, trying to sneak in. Age 3 clicked up for Striker. And he's making uh, his point known. Oh my god. The the yeah, regression from these bowmen. It's very costly. Eerie. His population numbers are, uh, are dwindling when they really didn't have to be. An unnecessary fight. Can Striker come back from this? Oh my goodness. Okay, okay. I'm surprised he's not waiting up. Um, oh, he's going to kill a bunch more villagers over here. Very nice pickup. Okay. Meat shield, though. The meat shield isn't there for for Striker. And the bowmen... Uh, sorry, the the uh, Decorians are, are there without any spearmen in the mix. And yeah, the meat shield is gone. Oh, no. Striker might have taken a really bad fight there. And saying that he's still up in population. So 60 villagers to 50 Never mind. So the armies are even, but the villager count is in favor of Striker by 10. No wonder he can go to the third age without worrying about it. Uh, he's going to try to pick off a Decorion or two. Uh, I like this. He's established like a, a, a really nice forward position. So maybe he throws down a fortress on this upper gold to, to really protect it and make sure he can uh, remain on this gold. He's dropping down two armories, not getting any armory upgrades right now, and finally getting that pickaxe upgrade. Eerie in the meantime, struggling a little bit for food. He's already on farms. Ooh, Striker in the meantime has been using the resources all around the map, this and this, but Eerie's been relegated to his base due to Striker's really good rating. Yeah, the Roman army is quite strong, Cypher. Oh, Cyber, sorry. Or Cyan. I cannot read, sir. Oh my god, another TC going down here. I wonder if Eerie gets to stop this from coming in. And he might be scared enough to move out with his army. But in the meantime, right, Eerie, the shark that that is. Oh no. Oh no, he's played. He's being played. Some Asabar moving out to deal with the Decorions. But uh, in the meantime, he's waiting to see... Striker's main army. And when he sees that main army, he's going to push in on the other side with this flank. Oh my god. No. Can Eerie pick up this, this armory? No. No, 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 no. This armory upgrade. Barbed arrows is so critical. He's going to get it. And look look at Striker trying to, trying to save it with the repair from these villagers. But these villagers might actually get... Yeah, no. He's smart. He knows what he got. 
He knows the value of what he got. And Striker recuing up those two armory upgrades. And Eerie going in on the other side. Killing even more villagers. 74 villagers to the 58. I guess he just doesn't know how many, how much more villagers he has. Uh, and his army is massive right now. He's just he's chilling out. Oh man, these these uh these spearmen they're good, but they're not good enough. And a bunch of these villagers are dying for free. But this is a costly trade for for Eerie. I think he's just trying to buy time maybe. But uh, see, 74 villagers still to the 61. So he's been killing a lot of villagers here. But these Decorions fall. And that was the really strong meat shield of Eerie. And look at his gold bank. It's not... It's nowhere to be found. In the middle of the map, Striker has claimed this middle uh, gold mine. Because this gold mine is half done. He needs to get plaster mining really badly. Uh, or ending the game. Ooh. This is what he needs to be worried about. The double siege workshops that are coming out. The double siege workshops are deadly. This second, this third TC though, he could really clean that up. All right. That is the the scary thing in this army in age three. If Striker does not pay attention, he could lose this entire army to just a, a ton of Scorpios. And so the time is ticking. Twenty two seconds at a time. The time is ticking. I'm really surprised that uh, Eerie has not gotten Presidium. That's uh, an unfortunate upgrade he hasn't gotten yet. Striker's army is massive though. I think he might be waiting for a couple of these upgrades. But man, does he he doesn't know that the clock is ticking for him. Ooh, nice attempt at a flank here by Striker. But uh, the Spearmen, I don't know what they could do on the flank. Here comes the first uh, Scorpio. Second one is on the way. He's going to be... Digging into the heart of Erie's economy. 68 villagers to the 85. But uh, I am not sure if that's going to be good enough. Because eventually, Erie is going to have enough of an army to make a real dent. Especially with not having a lot of villagers. Alright, all that's left is the Bowman Champion of Striker. Who's going to have to be falling back. Because these four Scorpios are now in the mix. What is Striker going to remass on? Because the more Scorpios that come out, the scarier this gets. Oh yeah, double Scorpio production and a market in the back for trading resources. I like this uh, watch post by Striker. He's making it. Uh, Ears trying to move out, grab this gold mine here. But uh, I wonder. Okay, Striker's gathering from this gold mine over here. But his map control is fleeting. As of our champion in the queue. Let's see here. How much production does he have? He doesn't have enough. He does not have enough. That's for sure. He took some really good trades in the beginning. And saw a really great. Had a really great army size. And so. Ooh, ooh, ooh. These Decorians are going to move out at the perfect time. And now Yuri. Look at what he's amassing on. Centurion, Scorpios. Just. The creme de la creme army. Striker trying to wall up his base. Might be too late, I think. Ooh, Spara Bara. Champion. Ooh, that's what he needs. He needs um He needs Shield Wall Spara Bara. Shield Wall Spara Bara, okay. He's gonna leave these Decorions to be. And here he's going to retread his path that he made last time onto the wood line. These Aquarians are going to be an absolute menace for the time being. A couple of Alasparab. Um, oh no. Striker could lose his entire army if he's not paying attention. And he is paying attention, but still might lose this army. Yeah, look how fast that meat shield fall, fell. And the meat shield wasn't, wasn't big to begin with, but uh, man, did it fall quickly. Now there's a Quilifers in the mix. He's going after the gold mines. And all of these resource gatherers, there's 19 villagers here. There goes a gold gatherers for Striker. Oh man, deadly. 
Striker kind of move out with uh, these 36 Spearman Champion. He's cleaned up the Decorions in his base and he's remaxing on all Asabar Champion. But uh, Eerie ain't no fool, so he's switching to E-Quest. Oh man, Eerie, look at him, so smart, going after all the gold gatherers. He knows how to close games up and Striker trying to put down that fortress. That would have helped him quite a lot. Oh my god, the Asabar flank, this could be huge. He's in in the uh, he's in the back line with all the Scorpios and these Asabars. What a what a massive play! That could be that could be everything for Striker right now. Absolutely everything. He cleans up the army so well. Eerie's forced to remax on Equests and Churions. There go the Scorpios. What a great surround by Striker. Fantastic transition onto Asabara, but now he's got to be worried, right? Nearly all anti cav coming out of Eerie. Oh, yeah, sorry, sorry. I don't want to have to take a breath. <laughs> uh. All right, Striker, moving out yet again. On to the gold gatherers. That was half of Eerie's gold gatherers right there. Still doesn't have the uh, Presidium upgrade. That's a real shame. Surprised he doesn't take out this second TC here. Or this third TC. Ooh, big mistake. He's going in with the villagers yet again. What the... What was the plan there, Eerie? What was the plan? Striker, though, he's down to 67 villagers. Still got quite a lot of uh, Scorpios in the mix here. Six Scorpios. That's scary. If he doesn't pay attention, though, he could lose this second town center or third town center for free. Eerie. Oh, sorry. Striker with the nice flank. Oh, very nice, very nice. Okay, this is looking decent for him. And saying that there goes his meat shield and there goes nearly all of his army. Oh my goodness. And where is he getting gold from? His gold gatherers in the middle of the map, I think, are the only ones. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, Striker. Is having a tough time remaxing on 109 population. Is this how it ends? No. He's putting up a fortress on this gold mine. Really smart. But the Scorpios have uh, excellent range. I like the fact that he's walled this all off here. Really smart play by, by Striker. And he's going to have enough... Gold for the next little base. Got 27 villagers back on gold. Oh man, he's pushing in. He's going to be taking down all the production facilities of Striker. And Striker doesn't have some secret bank of production facilities. This is it. This is what he's got. So he's remaxing on Spearman. Why is he remaxing on Spearman? Spearman, Asabara, but I think he, he's only got these, oh, he's got five stables, okay, it's not too bad. He's trying not to re-engage too much. There goes the Aquila first, big pickup by Striker. If he can come down from a TC being killed, he can come down, uh, he can come back from this. Oh, look at him, he's, he's going with these Asabara onto the, the raiding units. Uh, are raiding onto the gold mines, but Scorpios might be good enough. Oh, really nice flanks here. Really nice flanks to clean up these Scorpios. And then the, the Bowman in the back should be able to clean up all of the front line. Perfect, perfect. I wonder, does he have shield boss? He does not have shield boss. But look at Eerie with these couple of uh, a couple of these spearmen and more than enough to start knocking on the door of Striker's last gold mine, or the safe gold mine. Striker back at 145 population. Man, yeah, this is a this is a good game. It's a really good game.
If Stark can get up a couple more forts, I think that'd be huge. Yes, excellent job getting a fort up here. Alright, they're going to be trading gold mines. Ah, really smart. Uh, oh, does, does Stryker see this? Sorry, does Stryker see this? Yes, he does. Now he sees that he's going to take it out. But is it going to be worth it? Or can he get it done in time? Nope, he's going to run away. It's not worth it. Saying it's not worth it to lose his army to this massive 180 population army of Erie. Oh, he's being chased. This is quite scary. His marker line is getting set up, and it's a really good marker line. That. Master, bless you. No, it can't. It can't. And I'm trying to think of what uh, what he could switch to. Cataphracts are good against siege, right? Cataphracts with some war wagons in the back, potentially. He knows he can't beat this army head on, and so I'm, I'm wondering where the flank is coming from. Oh, his houses are being destroyed, though. That's not good. Oh, he's falling back yet again, and Stryker continue to try to gather from this forward gold mine, but he's going to lose all these villagers. Stryker content to let them die. Down to 85 villagers. He's going to probably remass on caravans, which might be the better choice. Stryker... Again, just uh, losing more and more of these forward production facilities each time Erie decides to knock on his door. Erie, in the meantime, has no gold gatherers or very little gold gatherers, and he's making a market line of his own over here. Waldorf got a nice fortress. Uh, it's it's a decent market line, decent market line, and he's waiting here just to queue up to H4, striker. Probably wants to make sure that this army and his base is cleared up before going to age 4. He made mortals in age 3 and then uh, cataphracts and war wagons. Yeah, I think that's right. Oh, nice splitting up of his army here. Spearman, champion, on the flanks. And Asabara also on the flanks, but... Uh, Oh, nice split. Nice split. The bob and weave. Oh, my goodness. Striker finds a way to get onto the... Ah, oh, that's a really good fight to take. Excellent. Cleans up all the Scorpios. The Asabara are going to lose their lives for it, but uh, an even trade considering everything. I'm, I have been so impressed by Stryker's unit control in these fights. Like, all things considered, as, as, as Carnage pointed out, like, it makes no sense for Stryker to be winning these with the matchup or with the unit composition that he has, but he has been. Ahura Master, bless you. And it's been amazing to watch. Uh, thank you very much for the follow, sir. Oh, yeah, it's awesome micro for Striker. All right. Eerie back to 180, 180. Striker, same. Oh, my goodness. And here is... Do you remember, guys, in the Roman Celeste tournament, there was a point where Greeky was ahead and Striker... Uh, it was on Coastal. Threw down some really strong battering ramps and closed out the game. I think we're going to be seeing that yet again. But look at this competing. They're, they're, they're switching um, battering rams. Yuri is throwing some battering rams onto Striker and so is Striker. But Striker's got a couple more. He's re-aggressing in the middle. But I think, yeah, eerie has got the much better... Or sorry, Striker's got the much better composition. Um... And all the production facilities are going to go down for Stryker. Uh, or Stryker's throwing, destroying all the production facilities. And he's going to H4 on the back of a really good fight. Oh my goodness. This has been an incredible game. All of the Rams have been cleaned up by the E-Quest and the Legionaries in the base. But I'm sure more are coming. Yes, four more queued up. Hopefully he's going to take down the siege workshops this time that are pumping out their own rams. But oh my god, I missed this. The villagers are getting on the rams. Good thing Striker built like th three market lines. Uh. Alright, Striker need, needs to come and clean this up. Because if he doesn't, 
both players now going to h4 but if he doesn't that's going to be a pain three siege workshops so he knows he knows that he needs to get some more wagons up and these villagers in Asabar are trying to tag team <laughs> these battering rams finally these war wagons are going to be cleaning up the siege workshop yeah and i don't think these villagers are strong enough to fight against four battering rams Striker, in the meantime, cleaning up army after army, wave after wave of Eerie's units. There should be, yeah, a couple of uh, E-Quests down in the mix doing some good damage. 91 villagers to 91, dead even on villagers here. But I think Eerie might be throwing away his units a bit too frequently for my liking. Um, I think this is where, if I'm Striker, or sorry, if I'm Eerie... I am remassing on all officer units. I'm remassing on, of course, you gotta get PF2K in the mix as soon as uh, H4 comes up. So you click Roman Invictus, uh, and then you just get a ton of officer units to be the strongest army composition you can get. Uh, these siege workshops are finally being cleaned up. I love this double fortress here for Striker. Striker's army is looking like he's missing a meat shield. That's what it's looking like. Like, don't get me wrong, War, war Wagon Champions are, are fantastic units, but uh, without the Cataphracts here to be the meat shield, I don't know if that's a smart play. More War Wagons are on their way. One here. He's being ch he's chasing him down. Okay, so that's not not all bad. Striker is going to clean up the other battering ram, and he might have pushed up too too far here. At least I'm worried that he might be pushing up too far. But I don't know what he's worried. He's not worried about anything. He's got Palantonins in the mix. Eerie though is remassing on Centurions, Legionaries, Legionary Champion with the charge upgrade. Ooh. Man, I, I can't help but think that if, if Eerie had this uh, Presidium upgrade, the game would have uh, been slowed down a lot more. Oh, a nice attempt at a flank here by Eerie. Uh, oh, and he can bob in and out of these walls really nicely. All right, he's waiting for the Palantones. The Palantones are now out. Oh, you got four. Ooh. He's, gonna, he's got caught out by Wolves War Wagons. Oh, the onagers! And yeah, look at the war wagons falling. There's uh, there's still three of them here, but the meat shield is not. And so, oh, another palantone in here. It's gonna go after the TC. Oh, this TC over here. And so, one palantone and falls, but the three war wagons remain. And the cataphracts are now in the mix, so they're gonna be a really good Glory meat shield. Oh my god, Grungy, thank you very much for the subscriptions and the gifted subs. Here comes the Siege of Striker. OP Romans who, says Striker. OP Romans who? And it's not like Eerie hasn't been playing really well with them. He has been. Striker has just been on a tear this game. The TC falls, gone. The army of Eerie pushed back to the brink. He's getting his own Siege. He's getting own, uh, even more Centurions. He's got a marking line. He's got everything he needs. But it's not enough. It's not enough. Here come more Palantonins. And the flank from Eerie. What can he do? Oh, he's going after the army. Ooh, big pickup. Big pickup. Needs to be careful not to let his flank be too open. And yeah, that's why he's not re-aggressing here. The TC is going to fall. It's on 83 HP. First TC of Eerie falls. The nice flank comes in. He's going to take out one, maybe two of these Palantonins. One, two fall, but one still remains. Oh my goodness, I'm getting nervous. What a game. What a game. Eerie cleans it up. Does Striker have what it takes to remass? I don't know. It's a very gold-heavy composition for, for Striker. Oh my god, look at that. Is that 10 Cataphract Champions? Alright, let's check here. Striker's got some... Uh, some open walls and stuff. 
Counteract champions. I I hope he doesn't just send them in and lose them. He needs them as a really good meat shield. Yeah, the Equus can trade fairly well with them. Uh, he's got another Palantonin. He's getting two more Palantonins. Four more Palantonins. <laughs> Sorry, four Palantonins in total. Uh, he's walling off over here, but ooh, I hope Eerie does not see these walls. That would be deadly. There goes the Scorpios. Striker cannot lose this army. These cataphracts are uh, are necessary for the war wagons. Yeah, two more war wagons coming here. It's a very scary meat shield. 900 HP cataphract champions. Alright. The Palantonins are here yet again. Erie has rebuilt all of his TCs in this back corner. Striker has opened his Palantonins here, but there is nothing to be found. It's a very scary position for Erie to be in. He's got the flank ready, but it might not be as strong of a flank as he needs. Ooh, ooh, and bad opening gate position. He's going to take down the houses so that Eerie can't re-aggress. But we got Marion Reformation coming in. Shield boss, Equus champion. The Equus get cleaned up very quickly, though. Onagers need to be on the Palantonins, and they are, but they get cleaned up by the Palantonins themselves. Scorpios are going down. Houses are going down. Is the Mishalite shield strong enough? Seven Cataphracts still here. I think it is. Where's the, uh, where's PF2K? Where's the Primus Pilus? Oh, I think Eerie just doesn't have enough resources now. 83 villagers to the 93. Look at the siege do damage. Oh my goodness. Wait, did he get hit from all the way over there? Holy shit, that's a whole, like, map away. Here we go. Striker, look at his bank. 4,000 of, e uh, of gold, 2,000 of each resources. He's got this in the bag. Look at him making more fortresses forward, more siege workshops. What what a, like, what an incredible game by him. And you would think a fully maxed out Roman army would be stronger. But I think Eerie is just missing a couple key units. Some Aquilifers, some uh, Primus Pilases. Oh, look at the one-shots on the Onagers. Look at this. Boom. Oh, what a dodge by Eerie. He's trying to go again, but again, one-shotted by all these Palantonins. The range is just so strong. The Spearmen are on the Palantonins, though. Is that good enough? I think so. One Palantonin is going to fall. Another one's going to fall. The War Wagons, though, are falling themselves. Eerie is, he's saying if, if Stryker can do it, so can I. And so he's going to try to put his all into making sure he doesn't fall right here. And these villagers, look at that. <laughs> no, these villagers got killed by the pounce on it. No, look at them go. Oh my god. Clip that. Clip that. That's Eerie putting his all Oh my god, I forgot about Gaelic Horseman. So did Eerie. Gaelic Horseman would have been such a strong unit composition. Because they're good against Siege too, no? No, they're just good against Cavalry. But they are a beefy, beefy unit. 800 HP. Two, point, two times against Cavalry. So that would have been the perfect counter to these Cataphracts. The issue, that's the issue with the, the Romans, I guess. If you're too comfortable on your Castellums, you never switch on to Auxiliary Camps. And Eerie... Taps out. 40 minute game. Back and forth and back and forth. Holy shit. <sighs> what? G, effing G. Oh my goodness. 
What a nasty game. <laughs> look, at, look at this current military graph. Look at this current military graph. Holy. Let's check the uh, current. Uh, villagers trained. Here he trained less villagers, but he might have had. Oh my god, I can't click current. Yeah, he, oh my god. It looks like, uh. Looks like Striker didn't do as much damage as I thought he did. Look at how much damage Eerie did in this mid game here. Oh my god, I can't believe like he came back from that. Holy shit, Striker. Holy shit. Like, and Eerie was pressuring these gold mines. He was pressuring like. Oh my. Oh. Those are the games you love to see, man. Those are the truly worthy of the title of Legends. Oh my goodness. Red. <laughs> A man can dream. Alright, Ghost Lake is the map. Mm -hmm. Egypt versus Babylon, right? Egypt versus Babylon. Let's see. Sheep Wars. Yes, let the sheep wars commence. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Babylonians have a an objective advantage on this map when it comes to sheep wars because they don't need to take any time killing the deer and just send their scout to the lake right away, which is exactly what Eri is doing. Oh, interesting. Are you saying that because he can... Like, Eri's going to throw down guys on... Uh, I mean, uh, first? Is other, that the other, other, no, 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 no. Uh, so other civs usually send their scout to their hunts to kill the deer before they have time to uh -huh. explore the map. But the Babylonians don't need to do that, so they can just straight, uh, straight go to the, uh, the lake. And yeah, look at gather that. Gather the ship and yep, pretty much exactly what I was talking about. That's a really good yeah. point. Yep, yep, yep. Because yeah, Eerie's, or sorry, Strikers. Uh, scout even s attacks a bit slower, right? For each of these deer? Uh, well, it used to be the case uh, like long ago, but uh, the Egyptian scout does attack a lot faster now. So uh, I'm not sure if it's slower than other ca uh, scouts at this point, but it's definitely faster than it, what it used to be. Well, Striker did find three sheep, so that's good. Oh, he's going to need them soon, I hope. Because uh, he got... Um, he was about yeah, to get hunting dogs. Rush coming. He, did he get hunting dogs? No, sorry, Yuri got hunting dogs. But yeah, he's got a spear rush yes. coming. Yeah, but he's trying to delay it, and he, his resources are lining up well for uh, mm -hmm. Temple of Ra. Yeah, it looks like he might just skip. <clears throat> he might just skip going for a barracks of his own. He will. Oh no! That's what his resources are telling me. Oh, Yuri found the sheep. He already we, found uh, yeah. sheep just in time. Mm -hmm. um, let's check this out. Yeah, Striker is just... <gasps> oh, he missed it. Uh, very smart by Eerie to send his spearman all the way around so that Striker could not see it with his scout. That was some... He's going to see them anyway, though. <laughs> there he is. Yeah, um, but I have to say something, and that's uh, the fact that Striker actually started gathering stone before even going for a barracks. I'm not sure if that's a decision he's going to regret, because as it stands, he is not going to have a barracks anytime soon. Yes, fair, but he will probably have a second town center. Will he though? I hope, and he'll have the priests of Ra to heal and to save his villagers. So I'm not too too worried. I think it's been proven that, especially with 
the empowerments of the priests of Ra, he should be able to get up a second town center without losing too, too many villagers. That being said, he's given up like all of his map control. Actually, looking at this game right now makes me think if it's better for the Temple of Ra to grant players their free priestess of Ra like a, a minute and a half after they reach age 2 rather than just giving it straight away. Mm. That's something you'll have to think about, but it's definitely something that's possible. I, I like, actually, you know, I come, I've come around to the Priestess of Ra idea. Um, I think Egypt's, Egypt's units need a little bit of a spice to them, and the Priestess of Ra in H2 is that spice. Yeah, but you don't have to get the spice right away. You can, you know, uh, see the spice being delivered to you within... <laughs> <laughs> two to five business half. days. <laughs> oh, very nice save by Striker. Nice, yeah. And see, nothing, nothing doing. Eerie, Eerie can't do uh, anything. It's not that he couldn't do anything, but Striker is forced to put his second TC in his base. Um, yes. But that being said, Eerie is still a long ways away from uh, second town center. He's only at a hundred stone, and he's he hasn't even started his town center, so. Yeah, yeah, I'm not sure if this if this spearman rush did as much damage as he, as much as he would have hoped for, but at the very least, it's forced striker to gather inefficiently from the berries without picker's gloves, and he doesn't have hand saw. Mm -hmm. So it's that might be what Eerie needs to catch up in terms of economy. Interesting uh, thought here, because I, I do the similar thing, right? When you're so desperate for food that you don't want to sp even spend, you know sending your villagers five villagers onto this uh back really safe deer my deer um or hunt even though you know you could because sending those villagers over will cause you to like drop a villager um so yeah it's just unfortunate for striker oh he's gonna get re-aggressed on this back that's this good back tree line that's good yeah very yeah, smart eerie. By eerie. yeah eerie, eerie now is building his second town center way out of his uh, main base uh, so maybe later on in the game he can set up a, a good trade route yeah it's a pretty good town center uh, yeah it will cover a potential future caravan route later on too it's yeah it's kind of covering two gold mines a bunch of berries stone and wood pretty yeah good. yeah that's an interesting choice he's also like... adding a stable oh, already yes, yes he, is. he is very nice yeah um, he's dropping some villagers, though. He was housed. No, oh, he's yes. not. So, um, I like this this town center placement. It's like nice in between the two gold mines that he has, like the two safe fish gold mines that he has. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, striker also housed, sitting on four hundred food. That's not good. Can probably research some of the factory upgrades in the meantime. Oh, he's already got yeah. loom. Very nice. Oh, that I must have missed that, but he got loom ahead of time. Um, yeah, that's good. Yeah, always a good idea to take loom. Ooh, striker as also. As possible. Look at him empowering his gold deposit. Yeah, that's what I was mentioning last stream as well. Striker is very good with these uh, unique mechanics of the sieves. Like you see him make sacred deer. You see him use empowering from the priestesses. I don't know if he has touch of Ra from his temple of Ra yet. No, nope. he doesn't. But uh, I'm pretty sure he's gonna eventually get it. And yeah, he's a. Uh, yeah, there he goes. There he uh, does. Yeah, very nice. Yeah, Empower yeah. rate forty percent. So that means that they instead of just getting a ten percent empowerment, they get like. What is that? Fourteen percent. Fourteen percent. So yeah. it's like one point four extra resources each. Kind of yes, yes. It makes uh, the town centers for the Egyptians train uh, villagers just as fast as other civs, mm. and you can also put them on uh, resources, and you know. Even an armory you can put them and make them research faster. Look at this uh, varied composition by Striker. So two barracks and a stables. Two Eries. Bunch of spearmen. He's getting his own gardens Two stables. Up. Two stables and one barracks for me. Yes, two stables and two barracks for Eerie. Mm -hmm. No archery range. Yeah, I guess he wants to. Uh, I guess he wants to kill the Axemen with lancers instead of bowmen, which is fair. Yeah, maybe an H three transition he could think of, but uh, for now he's not. 
Neither yeah. one of these players going for pickaxe. I uh, mm -hmm. oh take that there back. Oh, striker did. He's getting oh, pickaxe right getting now. It. Oh, and even another priestess of Ra, maybe for his actual army. Mm hmm. I think that's his fourth priestess of Ra. Yeah, he I like gets it. two, but for free. He went uh, made one for the gold deposit, and now he's making for his army. Um, what's the villager count looking like? Forty-four villagers to the forty-three of Eri. Ooh, interesting. Yeah, so Eri's behind quite a bit. Even of the though, start. oh wow, start. you're right, you're right, absolutely. Uh, Fifteen At seconds least... train time versus the. 15 seconds, okay. Yeah. Oh, fight that striker definitely cannot take in the middle of his base. Yeah. Oh, look at the priestess. It's actually not for his army, but rather he, uh, she went to the wood line. She's empowering the wood line right now. But Where are they so going? Many villagers there. Oh, no. Oh, the, the units are actually attacking the villagers, and the villagers are tanking so much damage here. Yeah, the roided villagers are super strong. Striker. Yeah. Especially with the healing, right? 225? That's, yeah. that's quite good. Yes. And no bonus damage, so... Yeah, I think Striker might be able to, uh, to do this with the Defender's Advantage, but still, 14 second Axemen are not not what you need. That's for sure. Yeah. You yeah. Definitely uh, conditioning def is insanely important these days. Uh, yeah. Actually, you know what's a really good uh, strat that I've been I've been trying to use more and more, especially now that baseline barracks units train so long, is yeah. um, getting conditioning, getting Spearman Champion, and then just mm -hmm. absolutely rushing your Vomiting. opponent. Yeah, yeah, getting like one hundred spearmen yes. uh, at like the ten minute mark. Yeah, yeah, you can do that. It used to be a popular strategy. Uh, one of our viewers, the Cure, who's in hopefully still in the chat. Used to do that a lot. Uh, when he used to play though, um, Spearman would cost no gold whatsoever. Ah, I remember research. those times. Good times, good times. <laughs> good times for who? For, for, the for all the Egyptian doing players. The rush. Yes. yes? <laughs> yeah. Uh, these, uh... Oh, nice. Maybe he might be overstaying his Vulcan, but yeah, the, the Spearmen are in a nice position, or at least were in a nice position, but I don't know. I think, um... This might be a little too much for you to take right now. All of his army is melee, and if he doesn't micro his stuff, then his army is going to lose two uh, strikers. Yeah. Strikers also healing with three priestesses at a time. With the imp with the great with touch like, of Ra. Yeah. Yeah. Fourteen heal per second is nothing to ignore. And now the units of of Yuri are much stronger, and and strikers actually like. It's floating a lot of wood, has no more gold, has nearly no more food. So, Yuri's putting on the right type of pressure. Um, oh man, five priests of Ra just chilling back here. Yeah, oh, That's not good. Uh, does he have pharmacology? You can just hover over this. one of his Yes, he does, he does. He yeah, okay. Oh man, this is a really strong pressure from Yuri. Incredibly, incredible stuff. I think... <sighs> I think he actually can overwhelm Striker here. But... Yeah, same. It's starting to look like Striker cannot hold. He's 30 population behind. He's Yuri's totally getting upgrades, defensive. right? Like, he's even yeah. raiding. Like, look at the raids that he's, he's doing on this side of the map. Uh, he had good vision there. And so I think the food eco of Striker is, is struggling. And shambles. Yeah, he does have a ton of wood that he can make some farms with, like as a last resort. But... I think he sent some villager at the, at the left of his base to gather from some berries. Not those ones, but more so on the left. A bit more uh, to the left. Oh, sorry, sorry. Left, yes, left, yes, left, yes. Left, over left. here. Yeah, yeah. So he is sustaining some Axemen production now, but yeah, his Axemen are fighting Lancers. And, and they still don't have conditioning. Axemen without conditioning are just a bad unit. Um, I don't know what else to look say. At that. Just like, quite bad. Look at that. Like, like... It looked like he had so many Lancers, but uh, so many Axemen, but they just died. Yeah, they do eight damage, eight damage to these Lancers, which like, no, like in a couple seconds get yield up. It's it's far less than that because of the oh armor. melee infantry armor. That's right. They, they do barely. Um... Yeah, they do four point eight, oh but because of region, it's three point eight DPS. So they eight. do less damage than like villagers. Oh my do, goodness, do dogs. Yeah. Wow. 
Eerie. What a what a game plan. And uh yeah, game. Oh, that was kinda yeah. Yeah. That was yeah, that was really unfortunate here when, when Striker's army just like went right through Eerie's army. But this is the cost of, um, oh, not that, but the, oh, I missed this raid at the bottom, but this is the cost of going a fast TC. Yeah, and also no uh, conditioning when you are getting a lot of units. And uh, he made Axemen against Lancers. Uh, that's not really, uh, not really what you want to make. Even if you get some Spearmen out, it's better. Like... Like, I think if you have to make barracks units against all of that, you're better off just making a ton of spearmen. Like, mm -hmm. both against the both against the lancers and against the Babylonian spearmen. Just make a bunch of spears. Like, yep. only spearmen. Yeah. They're going to be cheap. And, and they're going to train fast. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I think it would have been better, but... Uh, yeah, it's here just we a... are. Yeah, look at the difference in military population. It's just not even comparable. I'm saying that's that first fight, that first fight in the beginning. Um, unfortunate the positioning there. Uh, okay. So Eerie is forced to switch off of his Babylonians. And we've got a game on our hands, folks. One to one. We've got a series on our hands. All right, game three of this best of five series is now underway on Oasis. One to one, Striker versus Eerie. First game was uh, quite a legendary back and forth battle with Striker taking the lead. Oh my, brilliant. What a oh my wow. oh my god! This is uh, never oh. before seen. <laughs> never before what? Yeah, what is he doing? Oh my! He can he can just gather from this fish an empowered gathering yeah. from the fish, and then yeah, you, you and make also from the tree too. He yeah! He, oh my! Oh, <laughs> that's so smart, Striker coming out with with the the next level plays. Yeah, really nice. Oh my goodness! Somebody, somebody clip that! Somebody clip that! What a what a big brain play! I don't think I've ever seen that. Have you ever seen that before? No, I have seen people get a super fast dock on Oasis, but not with their starting oh. villagers and the priestess. That's definitely a new one for me. Uh, I'm curious to see how it's gonna end up for him, though. Like, okay, he does have a wood storehouse already. Yeah, so. he does. He does. Uh, oh no. Oh no. Oh man. Oh no. <laughs> the, the opposite. Yeah. Well, let's see. Oh man. If Eerie had, like. Oh no. This might not go as well as we had hoped. Um. It's gonna get two fishing boats and maybe, hopefully. Be able to start shooting at, um, at Eerie in the meantime, like with his fishing boats when he gets two of them up and like re one repairs, one shoots, one repairs, one shoots. But that's gonna require some godlike micro, but he can do it. Yeah. yeah. Oh God. We've got um, claims to this strategy in the chat already. So well, well I... some some people have done it before. Sure, if we uh, search some museum uh, texts, we'll see references to this build. Well, <laughs> in like the hieroglyphics, eh? Right? <laughs> yeah, yeah, like 500 BC. Yeah, like yeah. Ramses II did this. Oh, actually, okay, Mr. Mr. and and Troller both uh, stating that they remembered the claim, or they remember it. Striker going yeah, all sure in, all in on this build order. 
Well, let's see. I mean, Egyptian uh, spearmen do have more health than they used to have before. So. He used to repair with his villager, maybe? Yeah, he's coming in with the villager to repair. Love it. Oh, no, but one goes down. Priest of Ra is coming out. Priest of Ra cannot heal the fishing boat, though. And this uh, 8 DPS is, might not be enough. Uh, Eri needs to focus down one fishing boat at a time. He's trying to do Striker that, but still, look at him running. Striker is still in age 1, by the way, and still making fishing boats. So but, is Eri. Yeah, he doesn't have any food. Yeah, right. Eri is, is also age 1. You're right. But you're right. Like, the villager population... Uh, oh, my God. Uh... I don't, I don't know. This is pretty funny. <laughs> look, at, look at him running with these villagers too. Oh no. That's jokes. Oh, if he just like cancels these fishing boats, sends a bunch of his villagers like onto um Cause this is not gonna stop anytime soon, right? Like he was just gonna either side. Yeah, he was just gonna keep sending his villagers. If if these villagers, yeah, were to come and switch off of uh um, these... I mean, Striker is just being too greedy. Like, he's still also g gathering stone. Yeah, he needs food. He needs food bad. 18 villagers to the 17. Okay, and, and for the time being, Eerie has been pushed off. Uh, he's getting his own Priest of Ra, and somehow I think this worked. The, 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 what is that? Three oh fishing my. boats that Eerie got or something like that? Like, what? Yeah, unbelievable. I don't know what to say. Uh, oh my Eerie god. He is going to the Bronze Age at the moment, so that's good. But Striker. What is he going to do in yeah. the Bronze Age? What is he like? Is he going to get his own second town center? Um... I I don't know. I mean, he, one thing Eerie can do is uh, he can just forego a second town center, make another barracks with the wood that he has. Yes. Uh, put, leave two villagers on. Um, Two villagers on gold, rally everything else to food, and then just keep spamming uh, spearmen in hopes to uh, take control of the water. But Striker has gathered so much from the fish already, it's uh, kind of crazy. Is he, he even empowering his fishing boats? So an extra 10% there is quite a lot, um, especially when you have a limited number of resources. Second TC is quite close to the water. Um, <laughs> Yuri, I guess, doesn't plan to have Striker hold the water for too, too long. Striker, in the meantime, is ready with a trireme. Oh, man. I wonder, is the trireme going to see this? No. Just far enough. Okay. Striker also getting net lures. That's going to be a very critical upgrade. And he's sending these guys back to make a second TC on the gold. How's the gold situation looking like? Fairly even. Both has a back-ish gold. Good thing the repair rates have been altered, though. I would say if the repair rates had not been altered, that fight would have been quite lopsided in Striker's favor. <laughs> yeah. Repair rates are pretty crazy. My striker, I don't think he sees this. Oh no, he does. Okay, good. What's the villager count looking like? Twenty-four villagers to the twenty-eight of Eerie. But of course, mm -hmm. this is uh, five villagers. Like, no, this is like double ten. Ten yeah. villagers. So it's fairly even, all things considered. Interesting that striker is actually putting his tri room up here in the front, whereas like Eerie, of course, he's not going to attack from the front. He has no incentive to take on the fishing boats yet again. <laughs> yeah, I mean, look at how many boats there are on this one little pond. Yeah, he's learned his lesson. Crazy. He's making a second trireme. Oh my god. Actually, now that we're both, I mean, having both the players as Egypt in this game, what does everyone think in the chat about that thing I mentioned earlier with the free priestess? What if instead of getting a priestess immediately after reaching bronze age you would get it uh 90 seconds after reaching the bronze age so uh it would display like a um, like a blue icon 
on the uh, priest on uh, the temple of Ra, and then um, you would see how long it is left before you can get your second priestess. And you can also train a priestess at the same time if you so want. Oh, yeah. Well, let's see. Uh, Eris, uh ahead in population by a little bit. Uh, actually. Does either of them have conditioning? Because they're yes. only making Rex units. Yes, Striker has gotten huh. conditioning. So he will be up in this game in a little bit. Because Yuri does not have conditioning. So give it oh, some time. Man, yeah. In saying that though, he's been on yeah. three barracks for quite a while. Um, and Yuri's now going to see the... Uh, oh, do you know that that Axeman actually did so much work, it distracted the ship so they were shooting at him. Otherwise, that Trium at the top would have been firing down on that army. Really nice play by Eerie. I don't know if it was intentional, but it might have been. doesn't matter. Might have been yeah, just for it was scouting. Really nice. Yeah, maybe. This is a scary Eerie army. you getting the healing upgrade. Yeah, both of them actually getting uh, Touch of Ra. So... Nah. Does Striker have any priestesses in his army, though? I don't think he does. He, he does, does have an not. armory, though. He does have an armory. Does, does he, he have anything from it yet? Nope. He doesn't no. have enough stone. He's just gathering enough stone right now. He's making another barracks here. Um, one thing that I have to mention, too. Striker doesn't have the Priest of Raw in this town center. So, he's getting... Um, yeah. The Priestess over here is... Empowering the well, dock, but not empowering. He, he is else. getting a ton of food from the fish, so there's that. <laughs> but yeah, he's getting slower villagers. That's what. All right, Yuri, he's getting antsy. But look at that population, though. That's the power of conditioning right there. Holy! Yeah. Forty-eight villagers to the forty-four. He's going for it. Ooh, he's nice splitting, shot. trying to avoid it. Striker's not paying attention. Table. If he could, oh, he yeah. would take out all these these priests of raw. Oh, but but all of the fishing boats are going to repair the trireme. That's the thing. Like, this is going to be such a but you can't kite forever. By Eerie. And he's getting attacked at the right side from Striker's army. Which no, is Striker's army is coming back. Oh no, this is this might be bad for Eerie. I'm not sure. He's going to have to run. Yeah, 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 yeah. I I think I think he's done it against Optimal Acorn. In the Iron Prestige Invitational, when Optimal had the water, you just you just say screw it, don't go onto the water, and you go around every single time, and just raid and yeah, raid and uh, raid and raid. Yeah, now Eerie has fallen behind in population. Yeah, Striker's got temper. He's got the other second um, with a double armor upgrade. But Eerie's going to H three. He has no armor upgrades yet, but he's going to H three. So maybe Axman Champions can can save him, still. Elephants. He can get elephants. Just a couple of elephants is gonna do so much work. I don't, I don't know if he has the food right for that. Right now. What does he have? The yeah, does he have the food right. for that? Uh, because he's on. I mean, this, it depends on. He's on this I mean, he's hunt. gathering at the bottom side. At the bottom side, he's also gathering from some hunts. Yeah. yeah so. Yeah, he, Striker, Striker isn't really denying happen. him any resources. Yeah, he's also. I, I see something at the t uh, center left, like at the ten o'clock position. Oh, <laughs> never mind. It's a source of food, but not the type of food I was thinking about. Alright, Striker pushing out. His armor upgrades have now kicked in. Yuri is getting Axeman Champion, so he's probably going to wait for that to engage. Uh, or not. Or not. Oh, man. Hello? Priestesses are having <laughs> a rave. It was like a baton, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, but... Uh, smart of Eerie to not fully commit to that fight before yeah. the Axeman Champion is here, but uh, uh, Striker is also getting it. He's also in the Silver Age. His Axeman Champion is halfway done. But I like Eerie's this. completed, though. He sees his one opportunity to seize, seize mm. the moment, you know, to get everything he ever uh, wanted. Yeah, but Axeman Champion for Striker is for finishing momentarily, and I don't know about this. Like, he well, is He's going to kill the all the fishing boats. boats. Maybe he runs away right now? Uh, yep. Yeah. yeah, maybe he runs away. Very oh, nice. Oh, but they're clumping up against the Trium Splash. Oh, yikes. Oof. Yeah. Yeah, he is behind an armory too, and he's losing all of those priestesses. 63 to the 54 the thing. villagers, though. Holy, Eerie's got quite a number more villagers. But it's finally getting conditioning. So better late than never, I guess. Yeah. 
He does have enough stone for a third town center uh, or a fortress, depending or a on fortress. what it is. <gasps> uh, this is a very bad spot for Striker to engage. Uh, those uh, Axemen from Eerie are going to splash them to hell, but... He killed a bunch of villagers instead. Um, yeah. so Eerie's a bit worried. I'm not sure if he's uh, able to remass after this, so... Striker's just going to go for the town center. I don't think he can do that. No, he can't. He has the... villagers garrison inside the TC, so as a last resort, he can pop them out and start repairing. But I think eventually Striker's going to lose this. Yeah, yeah the healing is the... too strong. The priests have yeah, raw in the, the back. Population. Yeah, Striker was ahead in oh, population no. by a considerable amount, but now he's behind. The bait and the thing town is center. That, that I'm noticing, yeah, the, the thing that I'm noticing with, uh, with these retreats from both of them is that they just drag box their army and they just go back and that puts the priestess at the back of the army mm. and they're just so exposed like when striker was retreating all uh eerie's tcs were hitting where the priestesses who died mm -hmm. yeah so i think actually striker's in a quite a bad position right now he's down a little bit in population that's not the worst part but he's down in in villagers 59 to the 65 villagers and i think he stopped making villagers or he's, he's not making well, as many as he could be. Um, where is his third TC? Is it just next to the second one? Where is he his does not one? have a third TC. Wow. Okay. Oh, no. That's not good. Eerie oh. is uh, potentially going to lose his third TC of his. No, Eerie Striker doesn't see it. Oh, he's going to see it now. <laughs> yeah, now he oh, sees it. That, now, the, now the action are going to go back, I <clears> think. No, I, I don't think he wants to get cut off. Uh, Very nice vision, though, for, by Striker. Yeah. And he sees... Uh, Eerie's, oh, there's a raid at the bottom of the map going on right now. See some red dots. Yeah. Uh, signature move by Eerie sending a priestess as well as the Axemen, but... Yeah. She's gonna get massacred. Hmm, I don't know if Eerie is going to get away with this army. He has eight priestesses of Ra in his army too. That's, uh, that's 800 gold right there. And I don't know if the, they're going to get out of here. Striker has so many more units right here. And he's just giving chase to this red army. And yeah. Wait, can you hear me? Oh no no no! Sorry sorry sorry! I was my my mic was muted. I thought that was I thought that was gonna be huge. He was gonna block it off here, but he did not. Yeah, well, sorry was, sorry. Uh, yeah yeah, uh, I was talking all by myself then. Sorry uh, sorry. Yeah, Eerie, Eerie uh, ran away with four of his priestesses alive, and some most of his axemen. But still, I don't know if he wanted to take that. Oh again, nice. Striker once again with his uh, Egyptian Siege Tower play. Oh, and Eerie's adding uh, Chariot Archers. I, I like that. I think that's that. a great decision. Because uh, the thing is with Mass Axemen, uh, um, they are all melee units. So if you have like 50 million of them, it doesn't matter. It only the, It's only the front row that fights. Yeah. Oh, this is a nice surround by Striker, though. I think Eerie's going to lose this. And he has better armor upgrades, too. He's got the H3... Yeah. Um... Our H3 armor, armor yeah. Yeah. But he did lose, that you know, that, that, uh, that one siege workshop. He's going to lose a couple more villagers over here. Um, but this is critical. Yuri defended it really well last time. He's getting all of his armory upgrades as well. So uh, let's see if Striker's Striker is going to push. Slingers. Interesting. Yeah, so it's really interesting to see how the meta has changed in this matchup because... At some point in time, EVE was only camels. Like, camels and nothing else. But here we go. Some slingers flanking the chariot archers. They're going to kill them. And, of course, yeah. the priests have set right in the mix. <laughs> oh, well, yeah. He just wanted to have some fun in the party. But but look at the population difference. Eerie is sitting at 174. 
50 population above a strikers. Yeah. He is sending a he is sending a siege tower to attack the town standard, but I don't think it's gonna get much done. Airy is already repairing the TC and sending some units to defend. But Stri Striker's gold is dangerously low, and that is the only gold he's gathering from right now, right next to the pond. Yeah. And Eerie is gonna be aware of this gold gathering, well. And Eerie, yeah, as soon Eerie as he gets up. this iron smelting upgrade, like, that's gonna be deadly. I don't know what. Striker had doesn't have it anytime soon. He doesn't have almost the um, doesn't have the gold to get that done. In the meantime, oh, you're right. This was the only other gold gatherers, and they're being cleaned mm -hmm. up. Yeah, yeah Striker was already behind in villagers too, and now he's even more behind. He must be like 10, 15 villagers. 59 to point. oh, 20 villagers behind. Yeah, 22 villagers behind. So that's not good. But that means his army is massive. Well, he is also 30 pop. Uh, Striker has not. Behind. He has not seen this gold mine. Oh my god. No. That, oh, that is so bad. That is so, so bad. That explains why he's. I was wondering, like, what is he. Years. Yeah, what is he doing? Oh no. I Things are not looking good for Striker. Striker's whole entire food bank is now gone. Yeah, an eerie. I have a feeling that Eerie is going to the Golden Age, but we can't know until we see the Temple at all in his base. It's a market. Nope. You know, he's still waiting on some wood, but once he has the wood, I'm pretty sure he's going to go to the Golden Age. I'm I'm really but surprised Striker doesn't throw down a bunch of uh, uh, fortresses. He can he can afford it. Throw them down on there their gold is. mines. There is a Temple of Ta. I don't know where it is, but Eerie's resources dropped by the exact amount. Okay. Required by the priest Tata. So H4 on the way. I'm expecting catapult eventually from Irene. Also, Chariot Archer Champion is going to be devastating. Because not only does it give them a lot of uh, bonus damage against the Axeman of Striker, but also gives them a lot of extra health, which is very good against these uh, mm. slingers that are firing away at them. Oh, There's Striker the taps out. GG. Yeah. Yeah. Man, unf oh, if, he had, if he had scouted the gold mine. Oh, no. That's, that's, that's so lucky. unfortunate. You should throw by me, he says. Not going to disagree. Yeah, that was, that was a good attempt by him, but yeah, not... Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah. All right, well, I'm going to go for a bit. I uh, might come back for the game after this one, if if there is another game after this. Sure. This is 2-1 two, two, in Eerie's favor, right? Yes, 2-1 in Eerie's so, favor now. Yeah, so if Striker wins the next game, I'm going to join for the final match. So, okay. Uh, yeah. Um, Thanks for having me. Yeah. Thank you. I'll, I'll be back. Yeah, See ya. Take care. Bye. All right, let's get this uh, underway. Switch the scene. Treasure Island. Oh my god, the fastest barracks I've ever seen. Couldn't even intro. Uh, Treasure Island. The host of many of the most epic, legendary battles in Age of Empires Online history. We'll, we'll be host yet again to potentially the last match of this third place finals between Erie and Stryker. Stryker is down one one map in this best of three, or best of five, sorry. So if he loses this, he loses and comes in fourth for the legendary tournament, or the Age of Empires Online Legends tournament. Um, bad hunt, unfortunate. And if Erie wins, he comes in third place, gets 20% of the prize pool, which is quite a hefty amount. Hello, sir. Who do we got? Who do we got here? Hello, guys. It's Flavio. Welcome to the stream. Thank you very much. It's it's a pleasure to stay here with you guys watching this game. Great series. Mm, it has been. It has been a fantastic series. I'm going to lower your volume a little bit. Mr. What the heck? 
What'd you say, Mister? I I don't uh, don't know what that means, sir. Um, my right, striker has quite a few spearmen. Yuri has instead decided to go for a dox. What are you thinking of this one? Um, what play is in better? this map? I think in this map is a, it's a great opening. And but I don't know if striker decides to be really aggressive maybe that dock isn't a good idea but both are playing clouds so let's see who executes better so far i think eerie is ahead well we'll see he's gonna get knocked off of this hunt but he kind of expected this already and so he's made a storehouse on his uh on his berry bush already so okay he's gonna lose that but uh Striker sees the docks. He sees why there's no re-aggression from, from Eerie. Uh, one thing I will say, uh, Eerie has been doing a really good job of subverting expectations. You know, you would expect him to go for Spearman in this matchup, especially after going Spearman in all the other matchups. So, um, yeah, it's good to see him him not doing that here. <laughs> Yeah, I was about to say that because of the delay, when you said uh, he's already uh, being put uh, putting out of the hunt, I was like, what? <laughs> I just seen Blessings that right now. <laughs> Let's help but that's those okay. Guys I, I'll make fridge. comments uh, uh, in general, not specific Rakeem things. Rakeem won with the massive $100 dono fill in the fridge. Excellent. Thank you, sir. What a... What a scholar and a gentleman you are. Um, absolutely, that would be more than enough to fill their fridge. And of course, um, so that means their prize pool is now up to $361, I think, or 300 and something odd dollars. Um, so, huge, huge thank you. All right, this is uh, quite worrying for um, for Eerie. He's got no stone. He's going to go gather it now, but he's he's going to be gathering only from these uh, these close trees. So it's it's Striker's turn to corral Eerie into his base. He's going to lose another villager or a nice little uh, poke. Well, I think these guys might be on stand their ground. Very interesting choice. <laughs> Troll, troller saying, <laughs> "Troller's like, what the, what the fuck?" Stop grenading! <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Striker has got a swan ship, and Eerie does not have the the wood to make a swan ship. Because he needs all of the wood for uh, for a second TC. Oh my god, this could be a huge play. Hello, hello. Do we have the one, the only, the legend himself in the chat? No, guess not. Oh, sorry about that. Because I... I did move and now I, I live close to a air base here. An air base? Whoa, what? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I, I can hear some jets or aircrafts passing by. <laughs> uh, Eerie has managed to somehow get a swan ship out. He's going to need to defend these four. Man, but just, just the spearmen here are more than enough to counter whatever Eerie has been doing. Um, just being an absolute nuisance. I'm loving this play. He just needs to transition this into some really good um, economic upgrades. Or yeah, get, so getting his own second town center and all the rest of it. Hello, mister. How are you doing, sir? Hello, hello, hello. Everything is good. So uh, how do you feel about your fidge being a little more full after uh, Rukim One's generous donation? I feel pretty good. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, right, let yeah. me. What are your thoughts so far? Have you been watching? Uh, have you been watching uh, the game? I, 
I watched the biggest. I uh, you're talking about the specific game. This one, this one right here. This yes. is a crazy. Open I really so like uh, strikers uh, opening and play. Like especially uh, when there is a three line like this, you either restart the game if you open with a bad three line and you you want to go fast talk. You either use your one restart. Or you do not go fast talk. It really depends. Going fast talk really depends on you having a wood line that it's protected by the TC. Oh, what a snipe. Okay. Striker is going to be taking the water soon. Yuri is going to need like a ton of, uh, of wood here. And unfortunately, Striker has been putting a lot of uh, units in. Mm. Hasn't gotten his own second town center yet. Hasn't gotten his economy going. But he has taken the water essentially. Um, Striker is really far ahead right now. Yeah, I think there's like been it, so much lost gathering time, as you say, the hidden costs. If he if he paid attention to the swordsman, and he went straight for the wood line, we might even had the GG. To be honest, in my opinion, those four swordsmen, if they ran straight to the wood line earlier, mm. uh, he would have been able to stop uh, Yeri from gathering wood again. Yeah, yeah, very I agree. True. I agree. So Yuri is going to be only a couple seconds ahead of Striker on this town center placement. He's gonna be fi fifty-five seconds ahead. Not fifty-eight. <laughs> oh. Fifty-eight seconds ahead. You heard it. The yes. swan ship. Ooh, very nice attempt at uh, hiding a swan ship. Well, there's two hidden swan ships. Yuri, he let the water get taken, and he, he had these two swan ships. Yep. What? I, I get the attempt. Like, uh, he was going to maybe try to take out some of the fishing boats with his swan ships, but, uh, man. I, I didn't watch... Uh, other games from Erie in this tournament, but if I remember correctly, he is called the master or the king of comeback. Mm. So if he can manage to uh, turn this game in into his favor, man, this is going to be a great, great match. Because in this situation, I don't see, I honestly don't see how he can recover from this. He lost the water. And he lost completely map control. Can you check the the amount of villagers each player has? Thirty-eight to thirty-eight. So dead nice. even. But so right Shaker now, has the water, right? Yes, but he is actually investing right now on water. He only has three fishing ships, and it will take mm -hmm. some time it, because he made more swan ships, and he also may he needs to make uh, fishing ships. So it will take for around like two minutes before he start getting his invest in, investment back so all he needs to do is somehow get the map control get some good trades get the map control and but it, it's gonna be it's not gonna be easy he needs to stay ahead in upgrades really important thing and he needs to get some good fights yeah yeah the other thing i'm looking at oh man the um the gold mines are not in favor of Eerie, at least uh, his like second and third golds. Uh, I think there should be another one over here, but is there one for the striker? If not, then there is. There is. So there's one on, here on, on the top left. Is there one? One, one safe one, fairly safe. And... Oh, there is on the left one. Yeah, yeah, I can see it on yeah, the tree line. Yeah. It's uh... mm. yeah, yeah. The map is actually there's so much. There's a lot more, like plus two gold mines for striker, I think. Yeah, but at the same time, I can't, I can't say yeah. that like striker didn't without yeah, gold, yeah, gold obviously, mines obviously. regardless. Like, uh, like ahead. right now, like yes, exactly. Thing is, like at this point of the game, gold mines didn't play any factor in the game, and he's ahead by a lot, not yeah. just ahead. Thirty swordsmen to the twenty-three. He's gonna move out yet again. Uh, Eerie moving out at the wrong time, having his villagers it's have to like, run back. The upgrades are really important in this matchup, and it's I think it's you should almost never make druids aggressively. Also, 
never make druids aggressively like more than like, three or four you should make like three or four druids stay leave them at home and only use them to take fights because if you prioritize on movement speed you will like never have to fight you can always run okay this fight goes to strikers so i thought that was close speed. you just got the druid here just in time to make the difference um yeah. But yeah, it's right snowballs. It, it's snowballs. Like the, it's the positioning. It's the micro. A lot of units. Like when you have ten against ten units, if one unit doesn't hit for like five or ten seconds because it's running right and left to find the target, then it snowballs. You might like end up with like four units left. Mm -hmm. So Flavio, if you're eerie in this game, how do you, how do you get out of this hole? How do you get out of this hole? Uh, I don't know, man. I, I think that the best eerie can do now is to hold in his base and try to reach uh, uh, age 3 to get some bombings to deal with these long swords and defend against raiding because if he tries to pull some units to raid striker he can't defend any attack this is why i i would do in, in his place right now because his situation is really really bad like one important thing is that he shouldn't have taken the fight earlier when you are mm -hmm. behind you don't want to take fights you want to avoid taking fights and unless you feel comfortable of winning that fight convincingly because even if they trade evenly striker wins so yes, i agree so like the plan should have been make the druids in that small choke point in front of your tc like next to the stone and the tc just keep your druids there for now use some swords to raid and keep your swords in a, at the choke points if your opponent comes to push, you just snipe the druids with your TC while he cannot reach your druids because they are behind like mm. chokes. And yeah. keep making swords and can take upgrades because right now you know that you don't have a safe gold mine, so you should already have made the market because things like this might happen. So right now He's saying that he does have this gold back here, so oh, there was a right. gold back then, here. Then, Striker then, does not then, see this, so that's then, good for then, him. then it's then it's it's fine. He just needs more villagers on gold, though. He just, if he didn't take the first fight, he, he would have, have been this. fine, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah, he would have been 24 pop plus right now, which would have been, would mean that he would be almost popped. And I think he has an, an, an upgrade advantage. I think if you check the upgrades, I think he has. Yes, he does. He has, uh, he has an army. He has an armory versus. Plus uh, the upgrades. Oh, both of them do. Also, no, if you check, he has the upgrades for the. I think uh, Yeri has uh, the upgrades from the Bard Hall. Yes, the health. The extra HP. Does uh, oh, both them, have both them have it. Yeah. Okay. Yuri's losing a bit more units too. He's not going to age three. Striker's already going to age three. And he's one sixty population. And he can easily go age four after that. <laughs> yeah, you're right. The, does this striker have uh, archers? No, but Yuri did did put down a bunch of um, archer ranges. Or oh no, he put down a market. He's going age three himself. Just think about it. When you have Shortman and your opponent has Shortman, the one with the more upgrades wins. Yes. So what do you do is you make your opponent keep his Shortman and you also keep your Shortman. And then suddenly you are going H4, he's going H3, but you're also getting the upgrades. And as soon as you get the conditioning upgrade, then you fight with the uh, with the ritual. With the plus fifteen percent damage and you are guaranteed to win oh, the fight. Oh good point, good point. But look at him look at head hunting, call of the boar, gifts is a oh my god, that's like six incredibly strong upgrades for Striker. He's yes, just waiting. And I hope he yes, he needs to wait. He needs to wait for at least four of those upgrades, but he's probably gonna take a fight with just the champion one. Well, he, he just saw, needs to be patient now. Yuri saw that all these long swordsmen are champion now, right? So he's like, all right, and I can't take be, the fight. Yeah, it would be really smart that he's sniping the barracks right now. Really, really smart. Like, oh. do not take a fight, but at the same time, let's do damage. Now, this is not a good position for a uh, uh, striker to be. Like, as, as, as long as uh, he keeps the druids out of the reach, he should be able to, he should snipe the buildings but you should always keep the druid so far away because of the tc snipe like yesterday i was playing yeri i don't know 
uh, if uh, the streamers noticed, but I sniped five Clinicus before the fight even started. With your when TC? he was pushing. Yes. yes well, yes. before he, we even fought, I, I was smiling mouse, going back and back slowly, and I kept sniping the Clinicus. And when we fought, he didn't have the five Clinicus, and it was an easy fight for me. Mm -hmm. So it's 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 really tricky, like in situations like this. Like Ooh, eight nice three town centers do a lot of damage. Oh, nice positioning by Striker too. Wow. Both these players going all out here. When you I... see those units running around and not doing anything, it's, for, it's for because striker? of... For Striker? Yeah, oh, yeah. Both players have that. It's because of the angle. And what I mean is like when you want to find it in a choke, you want your opponent to come to inside the choke and you want to be outside of the choke. You never want to fight... You, you don't want you don't want your units to be inside the choke because you, you mm. less units are attacking. You you cannot make like a bow like a, an arc. You always want to fight in an arc in in chokes. Yeah, yeah. I think this is this is gonna be it. Uh, Yuri's done everything he can. He's got plaster mining. He's got everything. But uh, striker just from from minute one for a second one actually he had his. Barracks up, and he knew his game plan. I respect that Yuri tried to change it up, go for an early dox, but uh, yeah, Striker just took the water, took the fight, made sure he wasn't able to gather uh, wood from his from his wood line. Yeah, well played, GG. This is uh, this is the closest series I think we've had. Uh, Excellent performance by Striker. Yes, really good. Yep, it's really well played by Striker. I was expecting something like uh, Eerie takes over water and Striker controls uh, the ground and in somehow Eerie would take some advantage, getting some free food, but he lost the ground and he lost the water. So in this situation, it's really hard to come back from that. E extremely hard. The... Um... I, I would say Eerie played it a bit too greedy and instead of you know using the food that he had from the fishing boats to make some spearmen or make some long swordsmen, he, he tried to greed it up really, really badly and didn't put down a barracks. And if he had put down that barracks, I think he might have been able to uh, to get out of it. But yeah. Anything can happen. Um Okay, let's check out the rest of these post-game stats here. Uh, wow, 4,000 resources gathered extra for Striker. And yeah. the key point on this game, it was at the starting wood line. Uh, those spears camping on that wood line pretty oh. much gave the water to Striker. So, there's two things that you can do in when you play water like this. And you open water, obviously, right? Mm -hmm. So if your opponent spear us, you are going water, and you need to start making a barrack while going H2. So you will only go water with two fishing boats. You make a barrack, you make it like a couple of shortmen, and you delay your TC so that you can make sure that you have wood, you have gold production, and you are able to keep the water. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And the the other one is. Uh, the the other one is if that you, if you have a good wood line and you know that you your your town center can shoot, then you can just play safe without the barrack and go for gold and TC. Yeah, yeah, agreed. Um, you're right. Like without ensuring that you can secure the water or defend the water, it doesn't make sense to to get on the water in the first place, right? Like four fishing boats are great, but unless you can defend them. It actually, it's like uh, food-wise. You get if you make if you go dock instantly, and you do and you make two fishing ships, fishing boats. By the time your opponent stops you from being on water, you can you actually get more resources back than what you invested. And he invested one boat, so it's plus three hundred resources mm -hmm. uh, for you. The problem is when you take damage at home as well. But, uh, like, what I noticed is that I never keep anything for myself. I always tell pretty much everything. 
and I realized that I'm not as competitive as I used to be. Like, I I rarely help like people, good people to improve, but now I'm just tell people everything that they I think they do wrong, and how they should improve. Which is good. Which makes yeah, which is good for the community, but yes. it makes me realize that like I'm losing that innovativeness that I have. Or using I'm the just edge. Like, the, that competitive yes, I, I, edge. I, I, yes, I'm just giving everything away for free. Like things that I discovered or thought, I just give them like information, like for free. Yeah, you either gotta you either gotta convert that into some uh, some clout, you know. But you already have a lot of that, uh, and uh, or like you know, if you want to make a YouTube channel and then give away your tips and become famous that way, you know, and <laughs> make tons of money. Uh, if you do that with Age of Empires 4, I think uh, that could be... Uh, I'm actually going to stream Age of Empires 4 as soon as we finish these games. Okay, nice, nice. Uh, Perfect map for uh, Striker, by the way. This is like the best map you can get. The spawns of the wood line and the fish. Mm -hmm. It's like the best spawn you can get. You cannot get be better, better than this, in my opinion. Just look at it. Yeah, and this is what he was hoping for, right? That's the reason why he exactly. read last time. Um, exactly. I want to make sure that these spawns on if the holds are good. There's if, one... if, he, if he really was like uh, sneaky, he would be like message. He would message in party. Is your good? Is your map good now? And if the striker said yes, mm -hmm. he would be like, I want the remote. <laughs> I want to remake. <laughs> <laughs> that would be devious. Yes, absolutely but, devious but i'm telling you dude this is competition <laughs> all right because like it, it oh. doesn't have like the the ideal map right so yeah it's not the closest but he could have thrown down a dock on this corner and got a um, his fishing boat right here like that's that's close enough i mean in, i, I just think that w that water in this map is overrated I need to make sure like, that striker has a gold in this back corner. If he doesn't have a gold in this back corner, I am going to be worried for him. For I don't think else. he wants a restart. I don't think he will want a restart, even with with a missing gold. By the way, he has no gold though, or maybe he has he, a gold. He's missing. He, he has. He hasn't scouted properly. There is a gold. For example, bottom left. Go to bottom left. Yeah, over here. Behind right? the stone. No, not not here. On the other side as well. All right, we're gonna check. Okay, here's his goal. Okay, we're good. We're good. Yes. I was worried there for I, a second. I, shit, I was watching the stream, by the way. <laughs> uh, I was watching the stream. Now, what I wanted to say, if you go to bottom left, you you, you, you will see that there's some tiles, right? There is always gold on those tiles or resources or hunt or gold. There's something always. Do you see the tiles? Yes, yes. Like, the, there's um... always something there, yeah. When it changes from like stone tile to or if if the if the if the green the the grass becomes dirt, it means that there is there is a, either a wood line or there is animals there because animals eat the grass, so it's it has dirt. Ah, is that just, the just look? Yeah, Whoa. yes. Just, <laughs> just just look at the animals everywhere that there are animals. There's dirt below. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Instead of grass. That makes sense. That's a great tip. <laughs> Erie is going to be dropping down second talent center. Striker has instead gone for a dock. It's going to pay off quite quickly. Um, one thing that Striker could do, and what I've been loving to do with with um, Egypt, and I said this to PF2K, is you just get down a bunch of barracks right now. You're floating so much wood, uh, sorry, so much food with all these fishing boats. With uh, when once you get net lures that you can just pump out like axemen and pump out um, spearmen insanely quickly. You know, like three did, seconds, did, four seconds for Did for you axemen. see the Zuta Zuta Classic tournament in 2017? I don't think so, no. Yeah, that was like, that's, those games were the reason why the Egyptian spearman was nerfed. <laughs> what I would do is I would go full water with one TC yeah just gather 50 gold yeah. i would gather 50 gold i would keep four villagers on wood after i had like six or seven fishing ships with three ba three pro three barracks in the middle of the map and i would just make spearman yeah no that, and, that's it 
and that's pretty much a win. Like, I won two games like that. I even won Arabia doing that against Pablo. You won on Arabia? How? Yes, Without the food eco of... Uh, of... Uh, you, you have the berries. <laughs> what, a, what a champion. Okay. <laughs> Hi, Flavio. Uh, against Zertun, by the way. Not against other people. Against Zertun in the finals of the tournament. Ooh... Did, I can't remember for that one. Did you win or did Zertan win that one? I won the Ruta Zuta Classic in 2017. He won the Spartan Wars or something in 2018. Okay. Yes. This could have been the uh, the spot where you guys traded blows for the final time potentially, but uh, unfortunate that that didn't happen. I'll match him in the ladder board of Age of Empires Four for sure. Hmm. True. True. Um. So, Eerie is going very heavy on production. And Striker changing his mind, not going for any more production other than this one, Stables, and going for a Temple of Set. Flavio, what uh, if you were to choose the position to be in, Eerie's position or Striker's position right now, which one would you choose? Uh, after hearing what Mr. said about that strategy with barracks and fast infantry units, I, I would like to see that in this map right now. That would be really fun because uh, the distance between bases is really close, so that would be really good to see the map being flooded by uh, cheap and fast training infantry. I would like to see, I would like to play in, in striker's position just, just because of that strategy right now. Well, he's not going to be doing that strategy. He's going to be getting up his third town center any second now. H3 queues up. Eerie should see this and move in. But, uh, yeah, the town center, where is he going to put it down? Fortress, not a town center. Interesting choice. It's a, it's a safe choice. You're playing against Romans, and you're playing against a player who likes to do, like, uh, some uh, aids to timings. Because Eerie is, is that kind of a player. We will try to like sneak in a, a, a testing timing attack where if your opponent goes for like a fast uh, tech and he doesn't have units he will die and if he's making units he will yeah they will just go back and just like uh, uh, figure out what he's gonna do next and yeah he likes to do that that's why striker knows and he's going for like a fortress but look just to make sure that he won't die to like a push like that Look how smart Eerie is. He knows that this one gold mine is the one gold mine that uh, Striker would most likely go to. And yeah, he's fallen back. Cancelled the town center. He's going to lose these villagers for sure. One, two, three. Where is he putting down his other town center? Doesn't have the, the wood for it, actually. Right, the Priestess of Ra is empowering an empty storehouse. Where, where, oh, yeah, and that's it, a mistake. It, it looks like uh, we're going to see some elephant, camel, and chariot play, which I actually like. Against Romans, yeah, I think that's a that's a good strat. It's the map, not the Romans. Yeah, the chariot. That too. Uh, sorry? That too, uh, The that chariots. Too. Oh, yeah. The chariots uh, are actually slow right now. Mm -hmm. So Seven. it means that they are not that mobile. But they're mobile enough in order to abuse uh, those cliffs. And by that I mean, if you have like a good force and you always move next to the edge and your opponent is going after you, like if you make some sudden turns, your army, your opponent's army gets clumped up. So his pathing is like almost ruined. You will see it in some times. Like when he's like hunting and taking a turn, you will see the army just like messing around and the pathing becomes really weird. So if you have chariots and elephants, you can actually take some really insanely good fights by abusing like woodlines or like cliffs. That's where you want to fight, next to woodline, next to cliffs, which makes it hard to get surrounded. And the pathing works in favor of the guy who's defending. Yeah, true. Uh, so he's getting up his first elephant right now and switching to a bunch of cherry archers as well. He's dropping down a couple barracks, maybe for oh, anti-infantry. Mm -hmm. Chariot archers don't have anti infantry, they're just good high DPS units. Um, here he's gonna tread the same path towards the gold, but there are some stone villagers here. Uh, he doesn't have the chisel upgrade or picker's gloves or anything. That's really unfortunate. 
I, I don't know about you guys, but I'm starting to worry about striker's position in this game. That decision to make that town center in that place, um, I, I don't know. The uh, Eerie's composition looks to me really, really good against what striker is doing right now. Yeah, lots of spearmen, Ooh. equests, decorions. It's gonna be tough for a striker to crack that nut. Yes and no. It really depends when a striker is going to take the fight. It really depends when. We switching to if, if, if striker is uh, is patient, he can take a decent fight. Now his only problem is the lack of gold. That's like the real issue, the lack of gold, because he he should have had like at least. Three to four hundred gold in bank right now. In mm. order to start getting the upgrades, because that's what he's lacking mm -hmm. right now. The upgrades. He's walling and also the gold. Yeah, I don't like that either. What the? Yeah, he needs it. This is his like only second or third save gold. So, yeah, if he, he needs to wall up here. And I would prefer more elephants instead of uh, more axemen. I I agree there. I need he needs more elephant. But in saying that, there's thirty spearmen champion. So he's rightfully worried for all of them it's uh, like uh in open fights in open field fights spearman annihilate uh, elephants as soon as you your elephants get spread spread out and you're fighting like one elephant here one elephant there they can get down easily but if you have your army together and you take proper position in fights and you manage to get like those four elephants attacking at the same three range area, mm. then trust me, those spearmen are going down so easily. Oh, he's got this gold mine up here. Yuri really should not be letting this happen. Uh, but instead, he's going to be pushing in, treading the same path he's treaded before. But there is now a wall here and a very, very scary Egyptian army. And Eerie actually doesn't have his third TC, so he's down a bit in population. Ah, uh, look at that. The Scorpios are going to take the center stage. Like, this is a point in the game where a striker must not take a fight. Just look at the amount of upgrades he's getting. Mm -hmm. He should n not get a fight until at least the armor upgrade finishes. The armor upgrade is really, really important because it, it counts as a double armor. Oh, was I missing Striker's rating? Um, let me check the villager count here. 67 villagers to the 79. Wow, so Yuri's army is actually massive compared. Oh, wow, he's even walling off. Oh, my God, he's walling off uh, his opponent's base. Uh, that checkpoint is perfect for uh, for Striker. No, I don't, I, don't, I don't like the Axeman, though. I'm going to tell you, like, the, those Axeman... Are going to die so fast, so yes. fast to this, to this balliste, to those scorpions. Sorry, and I also don't like that he's going out there. Like, yes, this is a good choke. This is an even better one. But I think he's just he's just he's just toying. He doesn't actually want to take the fight necessarily right now. But uh, he doesn't want to like let Yuri's army reposition to a different place in the map that he can't uh, defend. This is bad though. This gets, starts to get bad. Now we have open fields, and now he's in front of your base. Now the Scorpios can be like if the Scorpios will force a fight. Oh no! Look at this elephant oh, here. The Scorpio. Yep. All oh, that elephant went. Ah, uh, those elephants! Look at them. They're not fighting. Just look at them walking. Look how many elephants were like just walking, and not fighting. Now the remark should be made on axemen and elephants. And chariot archers. I think he needs more chariot archers as well. Look at the population. Oh, and nice! Yeah, happened? holy. Did you see what happened? Like the chariot archers just held their own. Exactly, and the elephants, because like most, some of them were together. Like the, the elephants that they were together, four of them two survived with almost full HP, and all the spearmen died. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the, that, but that's what I'm saying. Like I think he needs to remax on things like uh, elephants. A good the DPS should come from the chariot archers, not from the axemen. And then, uh, wow, what a great fight, man! I just saw the fight right now. I'm sorry, guys. What a all great good, fight good. for Striker. You should watch the Discord uh, stream. Don't watch the Ooh. tweets. Yeah, were you not watching the Discord stream? 
<laughs> no, he wasn't. That's, that's why he replied <laughs> so late. Oh, uh, Striker getting uh, age three broadhead arrows. So this is going to be 47 DPS each. Imagine wow. if uh, Yeri didn't go for the base and he went on the top side of the map to control that side. He could have taken such a better fight in the open. Yeah. There, exactly. Yeah. And those gold mine. There's gold mine here. There's another gold mine yes. up here. Yeah, Striker's taking all this north side. Um, if there was a fight in the open, same numbers, the Roman would have won. Because of the flanking? Is that what you're saying? Or Yes, yeah. it's basically the units must not be clamped up. If mm. units are not clamped up, then elephants are... They have slow attack rate and their DPS isn't as much for their pop. So if you manage to properly use your Decurions and Equis against the Chariot Archers, then suddenly you just win the fight. Yes. You spread your spears, the elephants follow, and then you take them one by one down. This is a almost 60 population worth of chariot archers here and strikers going to age four getting iron smelting so that's nearly all of his ar uh, armor upgrades completed yuri he's still struggling a bit for gold i don't know where he's getting gold from actually uh i think right now he's not just look at the villagers he's getting he's 10 not. gold 10 gold from somewhere oh, he i'm missing a fight in the middle Ooh, bad engagement for for striker, I think. But no, he's just kiting. He's just kiting really well. Each one, of the, each each volley is like sixty bowmen essentially turning around and shooting. Oh, yep. Like there's no army left. <laughs> All, All the we died. Only legionaries are left. Legionaries are left against chariots and elephants. Get, oh, guess and there's the priestess. There's the the priest of Ta. Let's see what converts we can get off here. For example, ideally you want your eight centurions on top of the uh, Scorpios Converted in this fight. One. So... Oh, a catapult right now. Oh okay. man. I think this is This is looking close. like This is looking like the scariest age four Egyptian army. And Eerie, look, he's it got nothing. He's got nothing to remax with. And not only that, he, he's it's not collecting that he's, gold. It's, yeah, but it's not that he just has nothing to remax with. He's got um, not even in age four. He's down on upgrades, I believe. Yeah, he's down on upgrades. No wonder that fight didn't go well for him. I think this. Are you is... guys think he should push right now, striker? Ah, uh, no, he's waiting. Disarm? He's waiting for age four, uh, the fourth age TC, I think. Uh... That fight could never have went well for uh, for Yeri. Like. Just think about Yeri had around twenty-five to thirty legionaries, like thirty population of units that Do they cannot fight anything yeah. that Striker has. Like, what are you going to find? Chariot archers or the elephants with legionaries? And now chariot archer champion in the queue. Um, one thing that I think Yeri could do a better job at, but of course he can't can't afford it, is just you know have the, the massive officers. armory of, of officers. Yes, yeah. Equis are good, but they're work. not they're not good enough. They're not good enough here. They're actually not that bad in this scenario, but the thing is that You got camel riders here, you got elephants, you got all these chariot archers still in the back, like Yep, and you got melted. Yeah, and converted. Oops, melted and converted. Still converted. <laughs> yes. But you know, some good damage, all things considered. I think um, he really did that just for the fun because I think he knows he, he can't win right now. If he really knew that he cannot win 100%, he would resign. I think that's what the type of player he is. If he was certain that he cannot do anything. Uh, might I add that I love the way that Striker plays with Siege. Oh, what a dodge. Oh, what a dodge. dodge. <laughs> oh my god. Um, Someone clip that, please. Holy shit. Oh. <laughs> oh, there you go. Oh, there we go. He's sleepy right there, now. There we go. There we go. Oh, God. Uh, but yeah, no, I do like the way that Striker is using Siege. Uh, he used it really well in this matchup. He's using it really. He used it really well in the last matchup, uh, the first game. Um, Equus Champion could have won this, this this army. 
Equis Zambion with like uh, Gallic Horsemen in the mix. Like they would probably destroy this composition. Even against the Siege? But if you have only horse against Siege, then Siege is worthless. The problem is those DPS on the Chariots, that's the problem. Actually, there's only six Chariots left in this army. Six? Yeah. Only six Chariots, but he's switching to like all Camel Riders, which is... You know. Good yeah. counter. Yuri just needs to split up his units and take out the Siege one at a time. Yuri still though in the age three. Like in the, in this fight, you certainly need the Kurions. Here's like the you flank. need all of your Kurions. If you do not have sorry Centurions, if you don't have Centurions in this fight, like this is like the pe the best place to use Centurions. Like Centurions kill all of these units. Mm -hmm. There's not a unit that Centurions die to. Like low number of chariots, like Centurions just kill them with like their uh, javelins. And after yeah. what seemed like a back and forth series. Striker taking the first game, and Eerie taking the game. next. GG. Striker, yeah, wow. He had the game plan with his, his doc, uh, executed it to perfection, switched to just really strong, powerful, age three uh, and age four soon, um, Egyptian army, and ended up taking the third place in the Age of Empires Online Legends Tournament. So well played to, to Striker and well played to Erie for a hard fought series. Um, yeah, incredible, incredible by, by both of you. Congratulations, Striker! Great Close games. games. Close series, actually. Um, so I think that means that somehow Erie lost twice with his, did he lose twice with his Romans yep. or three times? No, no, no. Twice, or twice not. with his Romans, man. But yeah, no, I think, I think Centurions needed to be better utilized to Corians as well. Scorpions, uh, for example, is a problem mainly against Norse, then against Greeks. And then against Celts, and obviously in Roman Mirror. Yes. The other series don't really have a problem against Scorpius, in my opinion. Yeah, not when you're, you know, massing up on camel riders and elephant exactly. archers. Exactly. When elephants. you're in Egypt, like, you, there's no reason for the. Like, unless the, your, <laughs> the Egyptian guy is going mass axeman, there is no reason to make Scorpius at all. If you think about it, you don't need to make them. You shouldn't make them. Like. Makes and sense. then you're that when you're sense. playing against, for example, uh, who are who is Dels Babylon? Against Babylon, it's also not good to go for uh, Scorpius because of Sabian Lancers. Sabian Lancers are really good at killing Scorpius. Striker took the top pawn or the bottom pawn as well. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So he outgathered him a little bit, mainly in. Uh, and gold, actually. Mm. Gold? Yeah, because Yeri wasn't gathering gold for like the last five minutes of the game. Because Yeri didn't leave his base. He went for a trade and start in, was gathering villagers with only 10 uh, of them. Yeah. Instead, he, like the game could have went totally different if Yeri, instead of going to push inside of Striker's base, he just pushed the top. Mm. He would have stopped Striker from gathering gold. And, and there's a very vulnerable TC up here. Exactly. Top, right? Like, you could but you, actually you don't have population. to push it. You don't have to push it. That's the thing. Like, there is, a, like, at this point of the game, you don't necessarily have to go inside and fight inside your opponent base because if you're both maxed and the other guy is killed and striker is killed, he will take, like, minimum an equal fight. But there are reinforcements, right? Mm -hmm. Like, the reinforcements just jump on top of you. And those reinforcements are actually elephants and chariots. Mm -hmm. And splash damage Axman. So you're not going to take a favorable fight in your opponent's base. Yeah, and you can see from this chart, like, Yuri had a slight, probably not that much of an advantage, given that his units were probably crossing the map, but then wasn't able to take a good fight after that. And Yuri, uh, Striker just, um, because he didn't lose as many units, he was able to save up even more, uh, get his army upgrades, and then just compound 
uh, the victory from there. So he just took a really bad fight. The first fight was really bad from him, and after that he kept attacking and he couldn't like properly handle his economy. Yeah, I, and I, I'll say this: like Striker played phenomenally in this game, but even even in the first game against uh, Iris Romans when the micro on his units needed to be like pitcher perfect. Like Striker's micro has been and unit control has been really great. I I have to give him props for that. Yeah, so that means Mr. tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow we dine in hell. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Tomorrow we play uh Greeky versus the Mr. Um, Greeky, let me know what time, like UTC wise, you're uh, you're good to go, and um, yeah, we'll get that announced shortly. I hope. Um, yeah. So, thank you very much for watching. Thank you, Mister, for joining me. Thank you, Flavio, for joining me. Um, thank you, PFTK as well, uh, for joining me earlier on. Um, yeah, great series, and I'm I'm looking forward to the finale. The finals tomorrow. Thank you, Rakeem One, again for the huge that hundred dollar dono. Um, much, much, much appreciated. Thanks to everybody who followed as well. Um, I wasn't able to l tell you who you were, but uh, I saw your follows and I, I appreciate that very much. Um, yeah, huge that shout out to Striker and Erie, of course, for their games. Um, yeah. All right. Um, yeah. That's all. I think we're going to end the stream. Any other thoughts, guys? Mm, nope. Some good games tomorrow. Excited for... Yeah, I'm excited to see the, the finals tomorrow. Tomorrow I'll be off, so I'll be able to watch all games. Nice. It's going to be really, really good. It's going to be a great series, yes. All right. We'll talk to you guys soon. Thank you, everybody. Bye.